Today we talk about these ones and basically these ones. In today's video we are talking about the Tag Enough Bungee Toys. These toys are as fun as all the other ones, plus they have the excellent addition of having a shock absorbing bungee handle added into, which is great for your own joints, for your dog's joints, which can help to reduce injury or prevent injury. It also takes a bit away the pressure on your dog's neck muscles, on your own arms, etc. So if you want to add some comfort into your tuck of war game while having some fun toys that your dog will love that can increase the bond you and your dog have as well as being great training tools then this video is for you. Hello beautiful dog people and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here welcome my name is Stephanie and I'm a dog mom to three rescue dogs. Number three will hopefully join soon the family and I'm very excited you're here. If you haven't watched the other videos then I would highly recommend you going to check out the other videos of the Tuggy Enough series I filmed. The first one is a general overview of what is Tuggy Enough, what are the toys, why are they as great as they are, what different type of toys are there and in this part of the series we go into the different categories into a bit more detail and today we talk about the bungee toys as I just mentioned. I already filmed a video about the chaser toys. These are these ones, the long ones or also things like this one. This falls actually in both categories which are amazing toys to boost your dog's recall or have just a great training tool on your hand when you have a dog who has a high chase drive, who loves to chase, to run and they come with squeaky bits or without, but they come with refer, etc. So if you're interested in chaser toys, then please head over to the other video. Today we're talking about the bungee toys. Let's get started, we have a lot of things to cover. Before I forget it though, you can save 10% on your first purchase with Talk Enough when you enter the code BULLYCO. So first of all, I want to start with a total classic and this is this beauty here. And this is the Wonder Bar Bungee. And this is hands down my dog's favorite toy ever. Like they love this sheepskin bit. They, well, they don't really care about the toy. They just love the sheepskin, but they love it. They adore it. And this one actually does look a bit rough because one of my dogs um, chewed it while I, he was unsupervised. So yeah, these are amazing. They are super high reward. They are really valuable toys. And the one about Bungie has, as I said, like the longer handle. A really nice handle for you here where you can have a proper grip they come in different forms they come in different colors so they come in different forms they come in different colors so you can see already so they would come either with white skin or with black skin they come with different colored handles so whatever your preference is you can basically pick and match what also would suit your aesthetic the most great tool for dogs to just have a really good time to introduce them to play and also to have a nice distance with your dog while playing so you have a bit of distance but you also have a great proximity while you play with your dog so your dog is really close to you and it's just really nice also when they come in from further away it's a big proper bite area where they can basically land and you still have a bit of movement you can still get them away um, without having to go on the ground as you might want to do with a chaser toy. Highly recommended and absolutely one of our favorites. If you'd rather have one that is a bit smaller that you can take with you on the go when you're on the walk, then the pocket magnet might be an option for you. It's basically the same, just there's no long handle, so the handle goes straight into the bite area, so you're basically missing the shop absorbing bungee bit. So these wouldn't be classified as a bungee toy, but I think I just mentioned it because I think for having this in your pocket, it's amazing and it would come in a shorter version or with a bungee bit. But as I said, for playing proper tug, having a proper tug of war, for maybe introducing your dog to tug, I would recommend this one because it's to me a bit more fun and we also have the shock absorbing bit in here. So highly, highly recommend this one. One of the toys that is slightly different but is one of our absolute favorites too, is this one here. And this is the sheepskin bungee ring. So compared to these ones, when you play with your dog, you would usually have this hanging and your dog comes in like this. So your dog has to basically get the head a bit twisted and grab, which shouldn't be an issue usually. But I have one senior dog and we like to play a bit more chill and we just really like to have a good time while his head is straight. So this is one of our favorites. It's super easy to keep the bite area vertical so he can come in like this and it also protects your hands. It's just amazing for us. Um, my little one doesn't really like this as much, 
but my senior he loved this i think this toy is also great if you have a dog who might not yet be as skilled in grabbing the bite area um so I, yeah if you are concerned that your dog would basically bite here or maybe you have a puppy who has really really sharp puppy teeth then you might be a bit worried if you for example have a pocket magnet where there's no no much room between your hand and where your puppy bites so for these occasions i would also recommend this one because basically the dog comes in here and your hand is here so there's enough room it's covered this can't be destroyed by teeth because basically the bite area is just really broad it's also easily usable horizontally um, so yeah i think this makes like a really nice tuck so if you imagine your dog is tugging then this is what it would look like so you have enough space it's a bit like a handbag and i really really do love this one i think to be honest i think it's probably one of their most underrated tuggy toys so yes do give this one a chance because i think it's it's really really great um also it feels really nice <laughs> If you're vegan and you don't want any of the real fur options, then they also come as a faux fur option. So the orangey ones are the fake fur, so the not real fur, and they basically combine all the good bits. So you have the fluffy bit, you have the bungee bit, you have the handle. Also you have colors that are visible to dogs, even from far away. So I do think these are amazing alternatives, as well as the crazy, Thing. So the crazy thing, as you can see, is very, very different from the other toys. It basically has like this ring. So it looks a bit like a donut. So it has like this ring and there are fleece bits around. And then you have the bungee bit and you have the handle. So you can have the intrigue of the, of the fleece as well as a solid bite area for your dog. So if you have a stronger breed, then this one might be for you. You can obviously, they can grab them here, they can bite in here. So it's, even if they bite here, it's quite a strong material. So it's very flexible, it's very versatile. It's not necessarily too practical to carry with you in your pocket because it's rather big. It's a very different toy. So this might be something if you want to mix it up a bit, if you want to bring in something new. If you want to go for the vegan or vegetarian option, then this comes without any fur. Another one that comes without any fur is this one. And this one, again, is very different. You have the fleece here and you basically have a pretty strong bite area for your dog to come in. It's not as long as it would be with, with a big Twizzler like this one here, which I will introduce a bit later. But you still have a quite big and broad bite area. It's a very strong toy. If your dog has not yet mastered the skill of biting in the bite area, then uh, going for a bit broader bite area might be a good option for you. This is also um, available as a leash, so if you want to have a leash that is quite strong but also has a bit of the bungee bit, then you can even find one of these as a leash on their webpage. Then one thing that is also without any fur and very very different from all the other options that I've shown you so far is this one here. And this one is one of their bungee food toys, so it has a little bag with a pocket and this closes properly so your dog might be able to open this but basically this is incredible if you have dogs who are really foodie driven and you want to get them to play um, i will do a separate video on the food toys they have but this is one of them and again it comes with a with a bungee bit and then you have the big pocket where you can put food in it's called the bungee food bag and it comes again in different colors and i think this is a really great way to introduce play to maybe a dog who's more interested in food or if you have a dog who loves the treats and you might want to introduce into more play as a reward or where you're currently building the play drive and which is not yet there so this is a great transition tool and it's a fun toy then one thing that is also very different from all the others is this one here and these are the new power balls they have. So they are very durable. So they are quite hard actually. And they come either just as a board or they can come attached to the handle. And this would be the one with a bungee bit. So again, you have the shock absorbing bit. Great for dogs, so really, really ball crazy. None of mine is, so 
this is not necessarily one of our favorites, but I can see this for, for example, a working Labrador who goes crazy for a ball. So if you don't want to give the ball away, but really want to play with the ball and play with your dog, interact while they're usually just running out. So this would be a great way to play with the ball without having to throw away the value. So basically when you usually play ball, you would throw the ball away. So the fun is by chasing the ball, the fun is away from you and they would bring it back to just basically run out again. So I can see this really nicely for dogs who are really interested in a ball. Be a bit careful because the obviously the handle is very close to the, the bite area. So you might want to be a bit careful depending on um, on your dog's teeth. Mine actually got it. So um, it's, still, it's still going. <laughs> it's still strong. So they are really great quality, but still, you might want to be a bit careful with this one. And they would also come as a pocket version. Believe it or not, there's also the option to bring it all together and basically have a great bungee toy with a ball, with a real sheepskin, and the shock absorbing bit. So probably the best of all words for your ball loving, fun loving dog. So, Yes, again, if you have a dog who is crazy for a boy but also loves the sheepskin, hey, this will make a proper reward. So imagine you have all you want and no matter where you grab. This is also great, by the way, if your dog is generally motivated by a boy but might not be able to grab it all the time properly but rather comes in maybe fast. So you basically extend the bite area without any damage to your hand at all, <laughs> your hands. So great toy for boy loving dogs. If your dog is not too keen on a ball attached to a string then I would go for this one because basically you don't need the ball. Um, the balls maybe to just add this in they are quite heavy so they do add quite a bit of weight so um, yeah these are way easier to carry as well. Before we get to my boy's absolute favorite toy I just quickly want to mention that the chaser toys also do come with a bungee option at least this one i don't have the bungee option for this one i just have the normal chaser toys but they basically look the same so you would have this bit here looks like mine so you have the bite area you have the normal stringy bit and then you would have this bit here replaced by the shock absorbing bungee bit and then the handle and now let me bring back the big twist I just love this. I also think it's really, it's really fancy. <laughs> so this one is my boy's absolute favorite toy. And I already praised this in the chaser video because it's basically, it's a chaser toy with a tuck. I actually do have a chaser toy with a tuck here. Here it is. But this is very different to all of the other toys. It's basically a combination of the fleece, taggy toy but it includes the fake fur option it's really really big like i was so surprised by actually its size like it does look big online but it is really really big in real life so um yeah it's massive basically but he loves it like honestly the colors are great i just love everything about it like this is our favorite and I think with this one I leave it because I already introduced this one in detail in the other video and yeah, it's a great toy, it's a great tool and what shall I say, it just looks really good too. <laughs> so yeah, we love this, we love the Big Twizzler. As a little bonus for you, I will include you a link to the Tucky Enough course. It's free of charge, it's completely free. You can just simply watch super short, really well explained video lessons on how to use play and the power of play for your training sessions with your dog. I will link all of this down below and you can also find some more information on the webpage. And the next video in this series will be about the pocket magnets in a bit more detail. And there will also be one more video about the food choice. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Take care.